about Journeys in Film. So we are a nonprofit that's based in New Mexico. Journeys in Film educating through film for global understanding. We promote the widespread use of age and content appropriate film. We write lesson plans, curricular materials that are standards based with the film as a jumping off point, with the visual storytelling, with films from other countries so that their peers, your students, connect immediately with their peers and have context, have these great lesson plans and have the context for which they then better understand other parts of the world. I like this uh, value of education. Oh, the yeah. value that's played uh, as a, it's, it, it was, it's a like and it's also a pattern. The importance of education that the, the film is essential to. He wanted to give his kids more. And, and they didn't have that much, but he also wanted to show them that if you work hard, you could get these things. And once he achieved making some money, he all of a sudden saw these values come to life. Okay, I could buy them shoes. I could, I could maybe move it. He to fed a his son buying. dreams. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and one thing that I found was that that even though they didn't have, out of that need to have, came that creativity that uh -huh. we see. Mm -hmm. Quite often, yes. I can create a job, a way to make money right. for my family, you know, just fill a need. Do you remember what happened at the end? Yeah, he gave, he gave something yeah. to them. He had next to nothing. He found some a few grains mm -hmm. that he could give them mm -hmm. back, this tremendous sense of sharing. So the relationships, the values are really nice. Remember I said you do that introductory piece about values? And the film really showcases them. Great. How about this group? In the beginning, they're talking about washing clothes, laundry. And again, with the economic point of view, uh, the idea that maybe we didn't see any showers being taken, bath and stuff. So when we look at differences, no indoor plumbing, it's hard for sometimes our kids to relate and be, and, and someone undoubtedly would say something stupid like, oh, they stink, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't want to And there's an idea of cultural sensitivity and getting to the iceberg analogy of what's underneath that's driving why the culture is the way it is. And people do the best they can with the resources that they have available is, is one of the things that and you can do to help I your kids. I also want to emphasize that the lesson plans take the process of inquiry from what the kids have experienced in the film to the, goal, the global sort of universal realm and then we bring the inquiry back to my country, my culture, my family, me. <coughs> so we're always connecting the threads between all of those important layers. And we're a Pulled diverse together. school already, yeah. right. so we're also thinking about inviting the parents right. in to participate. As we do well. have a lot of students from Iran, so already, so pulling from the resources we have at our school to pull something together. We're sort of figuring out a step by step process of what we would do like as soon as we leave today. So, number one on the list is sell the idea to the administration because even though they're aware of the program, we really need to have them support and understand why or how to teach through film. So it doesn't just look like, oh, you're throwing a movie on because you don't feel like working or teaching. Crying slash fear. Fear, yeah, a lot of fear. I think it was very powerful because it allowed our children to see a culture from a totally different perspective. What I learned is that from children of heaven, we shouldn't judge people by the color. You shouldn't judge them by what, what's the outside. You should judge them what's on the inside because everybody different and everybody is human in it. Everybody is human and everybody is different in their own little ways. And so even when I, when I first um, introduced the program to the students and said, you know, next week or tomorrow we're starting a new film and it's going to be in a foreign language with subtitles. They were completely off and they did not have an open mind towards the general concept of journeys in film. However, once I did play it, to much to my surprise, they were completely invested from the first scene. Um, they followed along with the subtitles and I wish I could take credit for that, but I mean, they are, I guess, strong readers and they really. Um, followed the film much more thoroughly than I thought they would. And um, I mean, at the end, that race scene, there was, I mean, yelling at the TV and hoping he wouldn't, you know, win, or yeah, hoping he wouldn't get first place because he wanted to get third place. And when he tripped and fell, they were, you know, they were really invested. And um, I was ha very happily surprised with that. 
I would encourage other students to watch foreign films because it teaches them other religions and not to be so skeptical about them. And it teaches them that, that everybody is different, but same in some way. Overall, I think that the Journeys in Films project was a really good experience for the kids. I think too often, especially at the school or maybe it is the district, the kids don't have these programs coming in that would broaden their horizons and their understanding of the world or even the understandings of different people in their communities. And this project was an easy in-house way to get the students to understand that. And this year we started off with one movie, next year I think um, it'll be so much better and the power and the impact that the project will have will just continue to flourish because students really will gain that global understanding and will really get that global awareness of how people are different but how at the end really we're all similar. I learned that I should have a different perspective of other religions. Like my perspective was with other religions was different because I didn't believe in a whole different religions, but they believe what they believe in, and I should honor that, accept that. Um, the journeys of film, that the, this project I'm very excited for. It's amazing, it's really fun, because there's a lot of drawing, there's a lot of understanding. You can learn more about another culture that you don't know, and you can actually compare and contrast, and it's really fun, because you get to learn, have fun, draw, and it's really fun. And especially at the end when we have our own meal, it's really exciting. Global education and uh, cultural acceptance is something that teachers recognize is important, but it's not necessarily always a topic with lessons or curriculums. And Journeys in Film makes sure that teachers do get to that global understanding, global acceptance with their students. Um, and as I said before, especially with social studies, you do touch upon that, but Journeys in Film really tackles that head on and um, lets the students know from the beginning that that is the purpose of it is to get them to understand and interact with other cultures and compare that with their own lives. In the news today, Iran really doesn't have a positive image on the world, but after that movie, it doesn't seem as badly as people seem it to be. It is actually a pretty nice culture, and I would like to go there one day if ever possible, because I always wanted to travel the world. I never really wanted to stay in this one little area. And now that I think about it, Iran would be a nice place to like visit and figure out their culture and how they do things there. It gives kids like not to always believe what the people say today. So there was a lot of learning going on and a lot of um, dialogue, a lot of conversation, um, and there were a lot of participants. And then when he went out to start trying to earn money gardening, then I saw that there were high rises like we have in the United States. And I was quite surprised. What, uh, what did you want to say, Kenny? I also saw that in where they was living, they only rode bikes. But when they went up to the richer places, you saw roads with cars. It goes beyond watching the film when they start reflecting and thinking about what they've watched. When they start putting themselves in the characters of the film that they watch. In our society, we would like, like Maya said, we would actually try to degrade her by telling her that it looks crazy or she shouldn't do that or why didn't she just get a new pair of shoes? When actually since they're all like on the same class, like the working poor, they understand each other. They come from, from, no, they come from experience. They could see her perspective of how it is, so they wouldn't uh, uh, um, discourage her. Yeah, or discourage her. Right. Okay. Because not only that, their mind is on their education. They're not worrying worrying about what she has on. They're worrying about what is the teacher teaching, okay. so they won't miss anything. Okay. Because in order to get out of that type of society, I would guess they need an education. Absolutely. Good point. We have more in common than we are different, and it helps us to understand how we fit into the scheme of things globally, worldwide. And although we're in Newark, New Jersey, and we come from a totally different culture, we still have the same desire. We all want to be successful. We all want to make our parents proud of us, and we want to rise up out of our, our communities and then to come back and to make a big difference. So uh, the curriculum guide that Journeys in Film does provide to the teachers is, I mean, as easy as making photocopies and reviewing the lesson the night before. They give you the book with several different content areas and how those different content areas can be applied to the film. 
And even for today's lesson, I, mi I mix match two different lessons. One that was meant for a literacy lesson, the other meant for a social studies lesson. Um, and, the, and in the book, in the introduction, they tell you to do that. They give you 10 or so lessons, and they say, but use these lessons as you would, as you see fit with your students, which is what any teacher would do. Take what the, the curriculum gives them and apply that to their specific group of students. And that's what happened today. And the lessons and the handouts and most, some of what I was saying, the questions of what, of what I was asking did come from that guy. So it was very helpful and made my job easier, my task easier. But then again, I did implement, change and implement my own changes to meet the specific needs of my students here. So after viewing the film, I saw where many, most of my students developed the critical thinking skills that allowed them to reflect on their own behavior and perhaps how they've treated people that have been in the midst of them that are from different cultures. I think people from around the world, or I think like everybody is, they like everybody is alike. It's just like we have like certain differences, but like when like at the end of the day, it's like we all share the same similarities. No one should be judged not from their complexion, not from their sex, not from their religion, by nothing. A program like this would actually help this happen. As you can see from our trifold display and our wonderful cultural diversity table, we were very thrilled with the Journeys in Film Children of Heaven selection. We're looking forward to many of the other selections and hope that we will continue with the program. I think that the Journeys in Films, the whole series, is a powerful learning tool that allows the children not to learn only in the classroom about their own views and how they see other cultures, and to reflect on their behavior towards other people, but allows them to become global learners, worldwide learners, because now, only because of time and space, maybe they may not go to that country, but through the film, they're learning and respecting the other cultures, their beliefs and their values. And it allows them to become a better human being. And that's what we're really working toward. A Journeys in the Film was overall a very positive experience for me and my students. They were invested in the film. They got more out of it than I thought they would. And the lessons flowed easier than they would. And I think they were given to the teachers in a way that is very easy to implement. And the lessons that we did today, the students were engaged with, they learned from, and overall I could definitely take things away that my, I know that my students learned from today's lesson, and I'm happy for that. What I most enjoyed about this film was that we had so many different things to do. Uh, we had projects like the Persian rugs, and we had to do maps, and we even got to eat food from other cultures. It was a fun experience for all of us. Um, I think people from, around, from countries all around the world are similar, more similar to us than different because, like I said, we still have the same struggles, we still have the same goals, and just the way they're getting here is different. That's the only thing. Um, the movie helped me understand about uh, other, cultures and how, all the other cultures and how they might be the same and how they might be different from from ours, but that no matter how different they are or how similar they, they might be to mine, I still have to be open-minded about what people from other parts of the country, how they think and how they act to help me better interact with other people for the rest of my life.